my channel if you're new here my name is marina i do mobile home living in a trailer park in tennessee and i'm making my mobile home and mobile mansion one corner of the trailer at a time usually all my makeovers are very budget friendly they're easy to do my husband and i have zero home improvement skills we're learning as we go we're learning as we go <laughs> we're learning as we go we have picked up some cool trades since starting this whole thing about a year ago um but for the most part we're very we're not professional like we we we're not <laughs> but we're learning as we go and we're doing everything by ourselves most of my makeovers you guys know they're very affordable they're very realistic because we are just a real life family we're not big time money makers or anything like that we're just normal people and i want to always keep it that way i want to be relatable to those of you who are at home that are maybe living on one income a month maybe social security um maybe you're a large family on one income maybe you know there's only you're a one income house whatever whatever it may be um, for you being low to middle income, I want to stay relatable to you guys. I think it's very important to remember my roots and remember where I come from. And I'm nowhere near out of the trailer park. I will probably never be out of the trailer park. I love my trailer park. I said before I said again, the only way I will move out of the trailer park is if I have a double wide on some land. That's it. Um, otherwise, we're here for the long haul. We love our home. We're thankful for it. And we know that as long as we take care of it, it'll last us a while. All that being said, I said all that to say this is usually I'm always very budget friendly. Today's video is super budget friendly. I'm going to, with my husband's help, of course, <laughs> I'm going to be making a pantry area out of a bookcase I already have. I've been saving up for a pantry, but you know what? I'm thinking, why go out all out? on something whenever I could be updating other things in my house. I've recently updated our dishwasher. We went without a dishwasher for forever. We had to get a new dryer. I figured why not use our money in a smart way. So like save that for things that go bad and things that break and stuff like that. It's much more important than having a uh, semi not functional big pantry made pantry made because we're not going to be able our space is very limited we're in a 16 by 80 single wide so we're not going to be able to go all out in the pantry that i want and i dream about if i did it would cut space out of my dining area my dining area is something we use frequently we use it at least three times a day we need that space to be as big as it possibly can that was one of the seller points of us buying this house was the large dining area i didn't care much about kitchen didn't care much about living room but the dining area like i really liked the way that it looked open when i walked in here that being said i don't want to get rid of that for the sake of a pantry i want to try to utilize the space i have for a pantry um to kind of just like make it more appealing to my eyes while also being completely functional because that's important as well it's not all about decor and stuff it needs to be functional for my family the thing is is i could go out here and spend 500 dollars on a pantry if i wanted to i could go out there that's the money i've allotted to it i could build it from the ground up and you guys would be entertained but it would give you guys no idea you couldn't relate to that so i'm giving you something today that you can relate to i'm going to build this pantry from the ground up but i'm going to use things i have to be the core of it so i'm going to be building around something i already have to make this for my family we already have a bookcase it's a bookcase in my room it's a very nice bookcase i've had it for a while i'm going to use that to create a space for our food well, I'm gonna try to, Lord willing. <laughs> so let's get started. Who wants to see my bracelet, JC made? Oh, I got one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It ain't as good as mine. Mine has more beads on it, and we all know what that means. Yeah, quantity <laughs> over quality, baby. <laughs> Going into this project, we were a little intimidated because we've built frames around things before. We built a whole fireplace insert wall. You guys have seen that, but we found a plan on the internet to follow. This one, Shane completely drew from his mind. He sat down, drew out the plan in his mind, and we went from there. We had no influence from any outside sources, no Pinterest sees, no eye vision boards, nothing. This just came from my head and Shane put it on paper and made it happen. You punched the highlights out of her hair! <laughs> Show them what you're talking about. <laughs> she punched the highlights out of her hair! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we did a bad hair job. <laughs> when you go to Master Cuts and ask for the discounted highlights. <laughs> Shane, you can't 
say that? Ta-da! Thumbnail. now. Drop the sickest mixtape of 2021. One, two, and... What was that? Power? power ray? One, two, and... I did the Power Ranger one this time. <laughs> no! <laughs> Yeah. That's a nice wall. That's a nice wall. She got some holes in her. She got some. Don't we all? Let this video be proof to you guys that you can literally make anything out of something. I've had this bookcase in the corner of my bedroom for forever, and I was I've been wanting to do a pantry, saving up for a really fancy one. And I went and laid down on the bed, and Shane was walking past me to go to the bathroom. I turned around, I looked at my bookcase, and I was like, oh, I got it. Okay, so what he's done is he's put a little bit, like a little six, hey Shane, is this six inches? Okay, so he's put a little stud up here, a long stud, and then another little stud on the ground, because we're gonna angle it out. I told him I kind of wanted it like a hexagon, not really, but he knows what I mean, because he loves me. <laughs> he loves me. <laughs> but I want it very angled. If it's going to be an exposed cabinet, I want the exposure to be able to be... She wants it all exposed. <laughs> I want it to be decorative. She wants it so exposed that the paparazzi is going to come out here and be like, snap, snap, exposed. And they're going to put it in the Since tabloids. <laughs> Since it's going to be exposed, I want it to look good. That's important to me. Like, not only, you know, it be functional, but it also look good. This area is going to be a key point in my dining room. So, I want to be sure it looks good. So, we're starting out by framing the whole bookcase. And so, the bookcase is the center. It's the star of the show. And we're going to be framing and working around it. I never dreamed I would ever want an exposed pantry in my dining room. That just sounds like a clutter, just a clutter bomb waiting to happen. But I'm going to show you guys, not in this video, but in an upcoming video, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to keep the food and stuff in the exposed pantry very minimal. So Shane's got this side framed. He's got it at an angle. You can see there's a straight line and then it kind of slants. He's got this wall there. The walls are different sizes just because these walls right here, you can see this one's much larger than that one. Um, but right here, he's trying to get at least the same angle. The walls won't be the same size, much like my fireplace because we had to go off the vents and the plug-ins and stuff. We still have to do that here. But we're going to try to make it to where I can do something with both sides of the bookcase. Okay, so this is the stuff that we're using. It's kind of like pop and lock shiplap, but you can tell it's like wood grained, so it's stainable. And it's got these little ridges in the middle. You pop it in and lock it. So we're sawing these. You pop, lock, and drop it. You pop, lock, and drop it. <laughs> so we're sawing these, and we're going to fit them up on the um, studs and on the frame around the bookcase as shiplap. But it's not going to be white shiplap, because I'm not a fan of white shiplap. It's going to be stained shiplap. It's not that I don't like shiplap. It's just for the vision hush. of my home. Cameron just said hush. <laughs> for the vision in my home, uh, I even struggle. I even struggle with locking this anymore. 
Um, I like it. I'm not going to change it. But if I add new pieces, it's going to be pieces that go along with the vision that I have for my house. Like the, the theme, the the feel of it, that's what it's going to go with. Crazy bee won't leave me alone. <laughs> I didn't know you were scared of no bee. Huh? Hey, I am when they get like right here in my face. I don't want to get stung in the face. This is my bread and butter. <laughs> Eyes I can't be, and he keeps talking about everything that he likes, and I can't stop listening. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I'm thinking about him all the time. I didn't even realize that somebody had put a pumpkin in my hair until I was editing this, and then look, I felt it when it fell. I felt something hit my shoulder. But I didn't know what it was. I even look off to the side here in a minute. And I'm like, what in the heck was just thrown at me? I thought Shane was playing a trick on me. He says he put this in my hair the day before. But I don't think I had it in my head for a whole day. <laughs> Woo! Then get it up there. With the armpits and the wood shaving. I'm smelling very bocephus. I'll try my best to find the exact shiplap stuff. It's not actual shiplap because it has the grooves in it. But I'll try my best to find what we used. But we did it with our nail gun. And then we used liquid nails as like reinforcement. Because they're very thin. They're not heavy duty at all. Um, if you put a screw in this, it would split it in a millisecond. But I'll try to find exactly what we used. And if I can find it, I'll link it down below. Even if we're seeing bad, my heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah. You know I want him, nah, 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 nah. My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be better catch you if you fall. I can make it brighter when it starts, when it starts. I told him I would do it all for you. And I know you do it for me too. We used the same lights that I used in my coffee bar makeover video. That's always, all my makeovers are in a playlist on my channel. You can just go and I think it's like a mobile home updates playlist. But we used those same lights and we just used this little nifty tool. We don't even know if it's meant for this, <laughs> but it works for it. So we just keep using it whenever we need a big old area drilled out of wood. Yeah. I told him I can be a fighter if you want I'll be there to catch you if you fall I can make it brighter when it starts, when it starts I told him I would do it all for you And I know you do it for me too I can be a fighter if you want, if you want yeah, I can be a fighter, I can be a fighter Say hi, say hi. Uh, like, say hi. Oh, say hi. Hi, I got some. I got my dog catch What is he saying? <laughs> I don't know. What did he say? He said it in a British Y'all, I love it so much. I almost don't want to stain it, but I have to because it doesn't go with anything else in my house. But look, we have these cracks here. So Shane's putting trim over them like he did over here. You can see like that area that was open. He put trim on it and it just made it pop. I need to get different light bulbs for those lights. But I love it. We got to finish up this little area. The stain that I'm using here is the same stain that's throughout my entire house. It's the, y'all have 
taught me, I think, how to say it. I don't know. Half of y'all are saying Jacobian, and then the other one <laughs> saying Jacobian. <laughs> so it's the Jacobian stain in the men wax. <laughs> Okay, so it's pulling more red on camera than it is. It's a very deep chocolatey brown. I'll try to fix the lights uh, to kind of combat these warm lights because I think that's what's doing it. I'm in love with it though, y'all. It looks so good. So I'm going to coat it with this polycrylic. Uh, just a couple of coats of it. Not many. Probably two. Um... And then I'll get that all that stuff down and then we'll fill it up. Okay, so I corrected my white balance on my camera because the soft white light bulbs are really throwing it off. This is the true color of the um, pantry. You can see because that's the true red of that craftsman right there. This is the true color of it. It's very neutral, very not warm at all, which I am in love with. This is my favorite stain ever. So, now I'm going to put the poly on it and then we're going to fill it. So my exposed pantry is going to be for things like cereals, snacks, easily accessible stuff that the kids often go to the pantry to look for, as well as necessities like flour and sugar and stuff like that. All of my canned goods and box stuff like hamburger helper, mac and cheese, stuff like that is going to be in a separate area and I'm really excited to show you guys what that area. But this is what the area looked like before. Um, it was, this is obviously cluttered because my house is dirty 95% of the time, but this is what it looked like before. And the after blows my mind. <laughs> it does not even look like the same area. I am in love with it. I'm waiting on a few more baskets to get here so that I can add more stuff into it. But this is what I had to work with now. And I'm so excited, so excited about this. It doesn't look cluttered to me at all. Like it looks very organized. If we can keep it this way, it'll be awesome. But I'm going to be transferring all my canned goods and stuff to another area. And I'm really excited to show you guys this. But this is how it turned out. I couldn't be more happier with it. This is it in a different lighting. I love you guys. I hope you have a blessed morning, evening, night, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, like I just said, but there's somebody who loves you so much more, and his name is Jesus. I will see you guys later. Have a good one.